Hello, hello. Now I know what you're thinking. This is a cigar channel. Why the hell am I looking at flour, some vinegar, a fork, and some water? This is about this guy. Okay, this is a brass ashtray. It's an antique, and I've used the hell out of it, obviously. I've polished it to perfection once already, and obviously I use it a lot because it looks like doo doo again. So, we're going to clean it, and I'm going to do a little bit different technique this time using flour, vinegar, and some water. Okay, I've heard some other people say that uh, you can use lemon juice and baking soda as well, but this is just the one I'm going to go with, and obviously I'm wearing gloves because I don't want my hands to smell like vinegar for the next four years. Just added about a tablespoon of vinegar to the one cup of water. And I'm just going to add some flour to make a paste. Okay, it's finally thickening up a little bit here. I would say that was probably about a cup and a half of flour that I used. Alright, so I've never done this, used this technique before, but it supposedly works. So I'll just spread it around. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so I just got it cleaned up, got it rinsed off of all that. It ended up sitting overnight just because uh, I kind of got bored of doing this, so decided I would come and rinse it off and do it today. So now I'm gonna use some compound and my rotary tool, and we'll see uh, how we can get this, how clean we can get this. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Looks pretty good to me. Could use a little more detail work, maybe some uh, finer polish, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it just because it's an ashtray. It's just going to get dirty again, but you know, for an antique, it's nice to keep these sorts of things going. Today's stuff is kind of built like crap, and this has probably lasted 60 years or more, so glad to have it, glad to take care of it. Just one more thing that it needs. Bye, you. Thanks for watching.